I had one sister and three brothers growing up, and we were mean to each other too, but we were taught that sticks and stones will break your bones, but names will never hurt you. So we're like, well, let's go get some sticks and stones and get some work done. <laughs> we'd hurt each other all the time, not even when we were fighting. We'd hurt each other when we were playing games. We played stupid, dangerous games like Mortal Kombat. Now, the video game, we made up our own version we played in real life. This is how we played it. Took a rock, put it inside of a sock for padding, <laughs> and we tie a rope around the end of it, and then we throw it across the room, and we try and trip each other. And uh, we were playing this one time. Well, we were playing it the only time we ever played it. And uh, I was the one swinging the sock rock. And my little brother was one of the ones running across the room. I was like 12. He was like 7. That's why it's a good story. Uh, I just start spinning this thing around. I chuck it across the room. It wrapped around his feet perfectly. And I was like, get over here. And he goes airborne for a moment. Then he slams down on the ground right at his elbow and it shattered. Oh. I know, we were mad at him too. <laughs> like, come on, Steve, why you gotta ruin the game? But now we had a problem. We had to figure out what to tell my parents because we couldn't tell them we were playing Mortal Kombat because then they think video games were a bad influence and they'd take them away. So instead, I told them that we were acting out a scene from the Bible. <laughs> Hoping to take the Bible away. <laughs> we use that excuse all the time. They caught on to us after a while. Like, I don't remember a scene in the Bible where someone got shot in the face with a Roman candle. It's like, God said, let there be light, so I shot him in the eye. <laughs> 